Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Blind. On the last episode, we had four shrines to do, and we did them all. And it was actually really quick, because we got through them like all within a half hour. And we, so we increased our hearts by another one, and we teleported to Rudo Village and cooked a bunch, and uh, bought a new shirt. <laughs> so, on this episode, I think I'm in your way. I'm so sorry. I'm just admiring the sun, the sunrise as it's rising here. I also noticed in, in between episodes, while I was uh, waiting for the previous episode's audio to render out, was that the I guess the music changes between night and day. It's kind of lovely. <laughs> that tree looks different than all the other, I mean, you have pine trees everywhere. What's that tree doing here? Oh well. That looks like it might be correlated that lone rock, but uh... Hi. Good morning. Say, Traveler. I take it you've seen Divine Beast Va Meadow. Everyone is at a loss as to what to do. I can't help but sigh every time I look skyward. When will we be able to go back to living a relaxed life here? I don't know. Maybe like 10 episodes from now? <laughs> I mean, it's episode 25, and we got... We got didn't we get the Rito Village like episode 13? So it's been like almost half the episode since then that we've been dealing with this. All right. Uh. Forgive my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking with the Elder. It sounds like you intend to help my husband, Teba, in the fight against Meadow. But to tell the truth, there's not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went. Where did he go? Well, my husband decided... My husband headed to a place called the Flight Range. It's in Dronix Pass at the base of the Hebra Mountains. It's a place where Rito warriors prepare for aerial combat. I imagine he's gone there to gather weapons for another run at Meadow. As it happens, he made his way to the flight range on foot this time. If you take off from Rivali's landing, it's a straight shot down to the flight range. Rivoli's landing is a memorial for the Rito champion, Rivoli. Well, the music stopped. So named in the hope that none might forget the events of that horrible day. Oh, I'm getting a memory right now! Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Good luck sealing the darkness!
Descendant! Descendant! Are you alright? <sighs> My apologies. I fear I've said far too much. If there's anything you do not understand, please do not hesitate to ask. Oh, okay. Revol Revolving seemed kind of like a jerk. <laughs> oh well. Uh, you know what? Let me get a little bit more information. Who knows? If the Elder trusts you, I will tell you what I can. Teba go. About Teba. About Revol... Uh, why not? Revali is a legendary Rita warrior. All the warriors here idolize him. My husband is no exception. He is always talking about turning our son, Tulin, into a warrior just like Revali. When they go and play together, he is really training him at the flight range. Mm. I've never wanted my sweet Tulin to become a warrior myself. Is there something else you wanted to ask? Sure, about Teba. My husband is very impulsive. Once he gets an idea in his head, there's no reasoning with him. We tried to stop him from going off to fight Meadow on his own, but he refused to listen. Though I cannot feign surprise, I did marry a Rita warrior after all. Yeah, no, that, that's that. That we we got our stuff. All right, let's go help him out. So we developed a way to shoot himself in the air. Oh, there it is. And now all the LEDs in the bird are purple. We have to go turn them to blue. Okay, so he said if we fly this way, we'll. Okay, it's over there. Is that it right there? All right. Uh. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, is that the stable? No, that's not the stable. Let. There's no. There's no. Uh, there's no shrine next to the stable, is there? Unlike this one down here, which is where the guy with the. But hold on. I want to go. I want to go to the Great Fairy quickly, so I can see if I can upgrade my my shirt. We'll jump off that later. Because right now we have our our shirt is is three. We can upgrade it possibly twice. Let's see what let's see how much it costs to upgrade it once. Also, we can upgrade our our champion suit too. We don't need to be wearing it in order for it to be upgraded, right? I don't remember. We might have to be wearing it. It's nice and cold up here. See, I can easily go glide and get that shrine right now. But I feel but they'd be going the opposite way. <laughs> I can get that tower right now. That's kind of in the no, that's not really in the way either. Oh, I'm above it. Aha. Grab as many of these as I can. There should be are there any new silent princesses underneath this thing? There are. Good. Have I taken a picture of these? I have not. There. Focus a little out, but it still counts. All right, great fairy fountain. Hi. I thought I detected the fragrance of a young man nearby. Fair amount. Sure. Oh, yeah. I don't have to wear it. How much do I need for this? Shard of Ferocious Horn. Oh, God. Who's Ferocious? <laughs> I don't know who Ferocious is. Wait, I can't upgrade what I'm currently wearing. Red Choo Choo Jelly. I don't have any red. Oh, I can't upgrade that then. I can upgrade this. Sure. Why not? That'll help us with the next, with the uh, upcoming stuff. Why not? I have a lot of be able to feel the care I put into this. Oh, I just remembered. There are some items in the world that when twice enhanced and worn as a set can give you a nice bonus. Well, I have some things I have are twice enhanced. Oh, but part of a set. Necessary materials. I don't have oh, because I don't I don't think I can upgrade that twice yet. 
Electric keys wing. Oh, I should have been grabbing a bunch of them. I know where a lot of electric keys are. Cannot enhance. Cannot enhance. Ferocious horn. I cannot enhance the warm doublets. I should sell one of them then. Mulworn trousers, Hillian trousers, Zora armor, Hyrule bass. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, I got plenty of that stuff. Oh yeah, she did the she did the the blowy kiss for the first one, and this one she just did the lip smack and touch. I guess it's not dependent on the fairy, but it's dependent on what rank we're getting. I... Thank you, Kesa. I don't think I have any. I gotta find out who Ferocious uh... is. Oh, I have a bad feeling. I have a really bad feeling. Ah, crap! That thing is Farouche? I didn't get a piece of that thing's horn? Well. That doesn't, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> that doesn't sound good at all. Are you... Luminous stone deposits. Yeah, let me crack you open. I can get a diamond from you. I don't know how much diamonds are. So I, I should have checked while I was at I was at the uh Rito village. Let me do that now. P let me eat the the stone. Let's go to the store. See how much a diamond is. I have 3. And then well, I mean the hat is a 1000. And I just upgraded, so I should have bought the thing first. <laughs> It'd be nice to know how much a diamond is, though. I have plenty of food. I wonder if I can make, like, a spicy pie. Probably not. I feel like that might ruin it. Where's a store that I can use? Probably right below me. Wee. Hi. Yeah, you're a store. Are you? Oh, give it, give it, give it some time to render. Hi. There's a treasure chest nearby. The slippery falcon. Uh, here to sell. Let's sell that warm doublet right now. 20, 20. That's nice. I had an extra, so why not? Can't sell that. I'm wearing that. I guess I... I guess I can really only sell things I have doubles of. Let's see. 180, 210, 260, 500. Woo! What else could I use it for? Because this, this gives me ice, that gives me fire, that gives me electricity, opal gives me water, amber gives me nothing, so that's why I've been selling that regardless. Uh, sell two of them. It's a thousand rupees. <laughs> I didn't know you had a thousand in your store. Let me buy some arrows then. I just, I, you just gave me a thousand. I'll give you a sixty back. But yours might not be bad. Oh, but those are two hundred a piece. Uh, never mind. Ah, <laughs> oh, so close. Yeah, I, if I would have paid attention to that price, I would have bought six hundred dollars worth of bomb arrows. I think we're good for now. Let's take off at the Rivali's landing. So, we're going to be heading that way. We're going to be getting that shrine on our way, I guess. 
Because it's just... Actually, no, it's not that direction. It is... Actually, it is that direction. It's that path right there. I think. Also, it's that path right there. Give me to the bridge. We hi Janasi. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a guy here that wanted like the the curry rice. I don't have any curry powder because I don't know where I, I forgot where I was supposed to get that. He cast is here. A spicy pepper. Ooh. You I, nope, that's not that's not my camera. Yeah, there's that. Big hearty radish. Album is full. There, not full anymore. <laughs> I really should just grab everything when I get when I get a chance. That way I don't have to like look for stuff. Cause I feel like I'm gonna eventually run into a point where it's like, oh, I need to make this. Oh, I don't have enough. I have to go run and grab it, and it'll be annoying. Hi. Oh, bye. Oh, you want to give me some meat? Sure. Yeah, I kill a werewolf. You use silver. Get over here. I'm running away. Like the cowards they are. Hey, you better run. Ooh, look. Samantha Wee? Is that in the open? That's weird. I'm gonna run out of room here. I gotta climb. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's very cold. Even with my stuff. Okay. Well, good thing. Wow. Okay. Maybe I didn't make enough. Let's just start with the let's start with the peppers. Twelve and a half minutes. Yeah, so I really should be wearing more than one piece of suit. Nope, that's a that's a that's a pretty fox. <laughs> like I press every button that leads me to kill it. Yes, I know. There is goodies this way. I picked up a lot of peppers, so as soon as I find another cooking pot, I should definitely cook up some more food. Cool Safina. Saflina. This medicinal plant grows in the high elevations, such as the mountains in the Hebra or Gerudo regions. When cooked into a dish, it will temporarily increase your heat resistance. Hi there. Blue Boko Blin. Oh, there's a black moblin here, too. That was one hit. Fire the, the fire is certainly helping. I don't know if I can hit you from here. Get some arrows, though. Hi, Gold Darner. I 
supposed to take a picture of the bugs too. I feel like I'll never get a picture of the bugs. I always run past them. Oh wait, that was weird. I hear one black moblin. I mean, I don't hear it. I don't hear a black moblin, but I hear, I just hear the moblin, and I saw that it was labeled as black moblin. Oh boy. Oh, you have arrows too. Oh! I blew myself up! I have, oh, there's a lot of them here. They have ice arrows. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Weapon. My thing is about to break. I have 50 arrows? See, this would be a nice time to have some fire arrows, huh? I have my own ice arrows. Wake up! Thank you for that. <laughs> I hit him. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Do I have another fairy? I don't think I do. I've already used two this fight. But I do. Curses me. Okay, that that drained out my last fairy. No, I still have a fairy. Oh, these things are way more powerful than I thought. I killed it. <laughs> I'm doing terrible right now, by the way. There go you. I'll take the knight's bow. All that's left are the Bogoblins. That was a terrible fight. Really, I can't carry a broadsword? I should, I should because I, I need some one headed weapons. Now I need something that's not. I could use the lightning thing. Sword isn't exactly the best, now is it? This is not the fight I should have picked. It's kind of sadistic. Also, we dropped this thing. Oh, just a bow. No arrows? Oh, whatever. <laughs> whatever, I don't care. There's no cooking pot here, though, which is kind of unfortunate. Shock arrows! Those are nice! You can use those against, uh... The next Divine Beast I go to. Clear this place out, just according to plan. There's a nice gut here hanging for me. Ooh, ice arrows too. All right, now if I can have some fire arrows, or I'll just say screw it. <laughs> let's just go. Let's continue going forward. There's a cabin over here. What's the worst that could happen over here? There's a fire. Hebra Trailhead Lodge. Lo lo lodge. That's what I said. Some flint. Evacuation Hut Notes by Selmy, the Duchess of Downhill. 
Whether you've come to Heber Mountain to shield surf the slopes, shield surf? Hunt treasure or just take a walk, you must remember, this mountain will kill you. Accent rain on this mountain is too high to measure. Before anything else, you must dress appropriately for the weather here. Not like you're heading to Hyrule Field. Despite the dangers, though, this snowy peak is really extremely beautiful. And it's an ideal spot for shield surfing. I want as many people as possible to enjoy shield surfing. So I'll leave behind this manual for survival on the mountain. I hope that it will help people enjoy Heber Mountain. Sure. I've left a few things behind on the mountain trails at the base of the flags planted. If you're in trouble, spot a flag and head towards it. Hopefully these will be items... These items will be of use to you. Someone else has added notes. Sell me, baby! I think I'm a better shield surfer. If I prove it, we can we get married? This total loser will never win. I don't... I didn't know what love was until I saw Selmy sliding on the slopes. I can't believe you retired. Where did you go? Selmy, thank you for leaving the food. I'll make good use of it here in the hut. I saw some kid north of Cold Snap Hollow. He looked like he was pretty great at shield surfing. Selmy, thanks for the food that was left here. It seriously saved my life. I'll be sure to leave some for the next person. To whoever's reading this, please take as much of the food as you need. All right. Like a halfway house for a bunch of people that are coming here. I could, I could sleep here. It's kind of cold. Ooh, there's a treasure chest. Meteor Rod. A magical rod that can cast three fireballs at once. Crafted by an ancient magician, it will break upon running out of magical energy. So make it last. What a what a different weapon. <laughs> so what am I dropping for it? I don't need the cork leaf right now. And I can just easily teleport to the cork forest and pick one up there. Because I know exactly where some are. Oh, this is also warming me up, I think. A little bit, yeah. It's nice to have then. All right, let's uh make a couple more of these of these meals then. Because it's been it's been almost twelve minutes already. It's been half of it. But also I have that gives me heat resistance. <laughs> I don't remember. It gives me heat resistance. Mighty Thistle. Increases my stealth. Attack power. Heat resistance elixir. I have meat. Well, give me some food instead of eating a bunch of apples. Yeah. I mean, I could just eat it raw, too. I want to get to the flight range. As far away as it might be from here. To be honest, I don't know how far away it is from here. Hold two of these. What do I get for two? Two meats. <laughs> A better meat skewer. All right. Oh, I'm not. Even, uh, I'm kind of close. Rossboro Pass. I just need to go a little bit further. I guess I am gonna be passing close by to that shrine. Probably next to the shrine. That's probably what the shrine is. Oh. Hi, person. Oh, yeah. Hello. Excuse me, young traveler. But if I may be bold, you look quite troubled. Perhaps a glimpse into what your future holds would bring you comfort to your spirit. That is, may I tell you your fortune? Sure. Oh, no, I don't trust this guy. Ah, very good. Now, let me see. I see red. A crimson. Deep and rich. This is the most beautiful color I've ever seen. Oh, it's the color of your blood. Now die! I should have known. I missed. No. Oh.
Thank you for the bananas. And the blue rupee and the blue rupee. I keep on, I keep on doing the wrong thing. I gotta take a picture of these enemies. See, I knew it. Was, I knew it. I knew there'd be another Yiga clan person here. Oh, these are luminous stone deposits. Oh, give me that diamond. This is 500 gold or rupees. I am not going to take this. Look at that arrow I dropped. Oh, I dropped a couple arrows. Oh, yeah, I missed the first two shots. Oh, look, there's some horses over here, and they should be very cold. Ice Beam Lizalfos? Ice Breath Lizalfos. Get a picture of this. Finally. I blocked it. That was good. Knight's Claymore. I don't have a picture of that. Icy Lizalfo's tail. I guess that'll help with coldness. He just popped out of the ground. I have a picture of horses. All right. Ooh, what's that? Oh, those are just Boko Bloons riding horses. Oh, no! Cold-footed wolf. Leave me alone. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna come up here. It looks like it's the flight range. I just want this. I want this, please. Shaw Warvo Shrine. <laughs> I think I'm skipping towards it. Oh, that's deep. Although it looks like it shoots wind straight up. Hello? What are the shiny things? I can cook stuff here if I want to as well. Oh yes, let's grab some extra arrows. Do I have an extra spot for a bow? I have this nine one, but that's exactly the same thing as this one right here. <laughs> maybe, maybe a little bit more food just in case. Who knows what I'm about to run into? Oh, I might need some stamina stuff. Make some st let's make some stamina stuff. Let me cook a bunch of stamina shrooms together. That gives me like twenty percent. So these are gonna be a whole circle then, right? Ooh. That's good. All right. Hello. Yeah. I don't know you, and I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. Oh, 
I think I'm finding my replacement champions. Teba's gonna be the replacement for Rivali. Sidon's probably gonna be the replacement for Mifa, because they're the only people that have th had their names introduced. Well, still, I wanna talk. Mm -hmm. Do you need something? I'm busy here. I can help you. Hmm. Oh, me? With what exactly? Va Meadow? Let me get this straight. Some random Hillian wants me to help wants to help me bring down Divine Beast Vameto. I'm not buying it. What's your name, stranger? I'm Link. Hmm. Link, huh? Well, Link. I'm Teba. But you already knew that. I'm guessing the Elder asked you to come here and talk some sense into me. Am I right? Mm-hmm. Just like the Elder don't trust any fool wandering into town. Look, you seem like an all right guy. But let's make one thing clear. I'm not going anywhere. As a Rita warrior, I can't rest until my people are safe. There's only one way I'm going back to Rito Village. And that is... Hmm. Once the Vine Beast Vimeto falls from the sky. If I have to kill Meadow, so be it. Only then will I return to the village. Well, let's get started. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Ha! <laughs> well, far be it for me to talk you off the ledge. But it's as the Elder said. The only way to stop Divine Beast Vameto is to get inside it. Fat chance of that happening. There's no way we can set foot in Meadow. Actually... <laughs> so not only are you windless, wingless, you're brainless too. Let me fill you in. The only people to enter the Vine Beast are the five champions of old. And unfortunately for us and the rest of Hyrule, they all died a hundred years ago. And if it hadn't been for Ganon... <laughs> Never mind. Let's focus on bringing down Meadow, one step at a time. If we approach Meadow recklessly, its cannons will blast us out of the sky before we even get close. So I'm going to need to test you before I take you with me. The Rita Warriors use the updraft in this ravine to hone our aerial archery skills. Oh, God. I, like, coughed in the middle of a sentence. The updrafts are so strong here that a person could open up just a cloth over their head and float up easily. Hmm. Now let's see what you're capable of. You have to maneuver through the air and destroy five of the targets set up in this valley in three minutes. Any pointers? Hmm. Using a bow in midair is just like using a bow on the ground. But you'll probably want a bow suited for long-range engagement. Use your arrows to destroy five targets in three minutes. If you can't do that, you don't send a chance against the meadow. Sure. Hmm. Then go destroy five targets with your arrows. I need my bow suited for this. Let's see what bow is good for long-range. Probably the falcon bow, because it says it's, uh... Superior durability. One, two... Okay, come on back. That was actually easy. I mean, it might have been it might have been very helpful if uh, if I would have fallen. Maybe I, something terrible might have happened with my stamina. But I think it auto replenished me or something. You're you're a skilled archer. It was as if time stopped with every arrow you let fly. I want to tell you, Link. When you first showed up, I thought someone was pulling a prank on me. But after seeing you handle that bow, I can tell you're the real deal. You must have seen a battle or two. Hundreds of them! I mean, I've seen a couple so far, but I, I can't imagine what Link has been through before this all happened. Hmm. I believe it. Link, I feel I've heard that name somewhere before. 
Well, if you really want to help me down Meadow, help me bring down Meadow, it's now or never. I'll get you into position so you can give its cannons all you got. Oh, God. Hmm. Inside that treasure chest is the bow I've modified. Take it and let me know when you're ready. Okay. Maybe we should call it here, but let me grab this bow first. I'm just gonna drop the I'm just gonna drop the one that says nine. Falcon bow! Well, that sounds like it's the exact same bow I just grabbed. Another swallow bow. When did I pick up this first falcon bow? Sort by skill. Oh god, that sword that shield's almost dead. Uh, I don't get any of those arrows back either. Uh, whatever. I mean I just used the arrows I picked up here. Alright, well I think we're about to start whatever we're about to start, so Increases my defense. Movement speed, maximum hearts. Stamina beyond maximum limits. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, and it gave me four hearts, too. What a lovely carrot. Increases attack power when cooked into a dish. The music in this place sounds so sad. And everything here is basically just for whatever. All right. Well... I think we're about ready to get on Va Meadow. Although we're kind of far away from him. So I don't I don't know what we're gonna be doing to get there. Maybe we have to climb maybe we actually do have to climb this thing here. We're gonna find out next episode. So let's see, we're right over there. Va Meadow is I can't even see him. I'm about to run out of my cold resistance, so let's hurry up. On the next episode of The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild Blind. We're going to be doing what this guy says and see if we can get on to Va Meadow from here. So until next time, hopefully you enjoy.